Pope Francis has released his message for the World Day of Prayer for the Care of Creation, which will be observed on September 1st with the theme, Listen to the Voice of Creation. In his message, the Pope turns his focus to the COP27 climate conference to be held in Egypt in November, as well as the COP15 Biodiversity Summit in Canada in December, reiterating the Holy See's call for nations to take more ambitious steps in the fight against climate change. The Holy See helps uh, everyone to get to a better position, and uh, I'm sure that's what we were doing at the COPs as well. But we don't go with a, uh, a plan of... Uh, an advocacy plan. So in that sense, uh, it depends on what the priorities are at the meetings to see where we can be of help. In presenting the Pope's message, Cardinal Michael Cherney discussed the significance of Catholic organizations divesting from fossil fuel corporations. There's quite a lot of consensus for divesting because uh, divesting is uh, not only a uh, uh, let's say a, a financial decision, a, a decision of uh, you might say internal, but it also it is also a form of advocacy. The, the, we need facts. In other words, it's not enough to say we are investing because we want to play a role. Uh, we'd like to see what, what, what role is in fact being played and what results are, are there. Otherwise, uh, in conscience, one should do best. The World Day of Prayer for the Care of Creation was originally inspired by the Orthodox Christian community and adopted by Pope Francis in 2015. In this year's message, he calls for nations to work towards four principles, biodiversity, conservationism, global solidarity, and supporting those most vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. Doctors, researchers, and historians help us decipher the most remembered crime in history. For the first time, we look at the mystery of the cross from a scientific perspective. The Passion of Jesus, a medical investigation.